Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The deal for which we have been waiting for so long and discussing quite extensively and closely tracking is now in its last leg of getting finalized. The CNBC TV18 has reported that American defense company will be entering into an agreement with India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to co-produce jet engines in the South Asian nation. The technology will power India's jet program once the memorandum of understanding is operationalized. Sources say that the Biden administration has given permission for G to co-produce engines in India ahead of PM Modi's US visit later this month. An agreement on higher levels for technology transfer have been agreed upon and no other ally has been given this kind of agreement with United States. Modalities of transfer of technology, timelines and payment mechanisms are now being discussed before final agreement is inked during PM's visit. It is also being reported that 500 to 600 Indian micro and small and medium enterprise could benefit from this agreement. The discussion on possible collaboration of jet engines took place in February 2023 during NSA Ajit Doval's meeting with his US counterpart. While the deal will need approval of US Congress, an agreement has already been reached at the highest political level. The details of deals were further reviewed by Defence Minister Sri Rajna Singh and US Secretary of Defence Lloyd Austin during the latest visit to India this week. So in summary, there are no blockers on GF414 engine deal between India and US which will power LCO Mark II fighter of India. All formalities seems to have been completed ahead of PM Modi's visit to formally ink the deal. The funding for LC Mark II has already been approved by CCS on September 1st, 2022. CCS has approved 6,500 crore rupees to design and build prototypes, test flights, and certification of LCA Tejas Mark II fighter jet. Now, with this news, all the media speculation related to LCA Mark II delay has been cleared. Once the formal agreement is signed between HL and G, the transfer of technology will begin but in phased manner. The indigenous G F414 engine will be manufactured at HL's engine division in Bengaluru. The LC Mark II is expected to roll out in 2024 after completion of air intake certification in France by June 2023. Since the air intake of Mark II is similar to Mark I, DRD is confident about bagging the certification and rolling out the first prototype by 2024. The first flight of aircraft may take another one year after the rollout of the prototype. The fighter jet is expected to enter into production by 2028 if there are no delays. LC Mark II is going to be state-of-art, multi-role, all-weather supersonic fighter aircraft. It will be 4.5 plus generation aircraft with long range and endurance and equipped with contemporary systems, sensors and smart glass cockpit. It has network-centric warfare capability providing competitive edge through networking of geographically dispersed forces along with multi-sensor data fusion presenting a unified warfare scenario with advanced sensors like AAC radar, IRST, unified electronic warfare suite and missile approach warning system. LC Mark II is going to be much more capable than LC Mark I and other single engine fighter jets in its category. LC Mark II will have maximum takeoff weight of 17.5 tons with 11 hard points, where it will be able to carry 6.5 tons of payload. It will have internal fuel capacity of 3.3 tons. The Minas 2000, under operation in Indian Air Force, has maximum takeoff weight of 17 tons with 9 hard points, where it can carry 6.2 tons of payload. The aircraft has internal fuel capacity of 3.1 ton. At the same time, the Saab Gripen E has maximum takeoff weight of 16.5 ton with 10 hard points, where it can carry 7.2 tons of payload, and the aircraft has internal fuel capacity of 3.4 tons. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. With this. I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.